a drunk woman gets caught in the employees only area and thinks she controls things until the cop finally loses his patience and things go awry. My name is Trey. Welcome to What Can I Change? I hope you enjoy. I let them know what it was, so I want to let them know, my niece and nephews, so it was, so you wanted to know, so what was the deal, so I let them know, because, um, what was the deal, so what was it was? Well, um, uh, yeah, so I can get a straight answer out of you, if you were supposed That's to be there or not. That's bullshit, that's bullshit. You gave me a fake room number when I asked what your room number that's was. That's bullshit. I asked where you were at. Ma'am, do you stay, are you staying on property? Yeah, no, I am staying on property. Okay, what's your room number? What was it? I have it in my phone. Okay, Which where's your phone at? Let me go get it. All right, well, hold on, hold on. Let's prepare, ma'am. Keep in mind that she is in the employees only area and this camera is cutting off my head. Keep in mind that she's in the employees only area. So it's, <laughs> there's no reason for her to be down here. So it may seem very confused, but they're asking about her room number and they're like, why are you in an area you shouldn't be in? This just shows that she is probably very drunk. And she has no idea where she's even at. That's why when she keeps trying to find this mysterious phone, which they do eventually find, it just doesn't make any sense. I'm getting it right now. Out of my phone. Oh, I'm being the ass. <laughs> yeah. uh, she didn't know where it was. Oh. I don't know what it is. You're right. I don't know what it is. I'm making it out of my phone. Okay. Wherever my phone is. How about we look for your phone while you talk to the paramedics so they can get out of here? I'm going to get it out of my phone. I don't know what it is. Okay. Can you talk to the paramedics for us? I, I'm trying to avoid taking you to jail, so relax. Fuck taking me to jail. Because you're being disorderly right now. Go talk to the paramedic. We already knew it was going to go south the second he said that. Sometimes when you tell people right from the jump that if you don't do something, this is going to happen, people immediately go, <laughs> you know who I am? You're not doing anything with me. Don't you touch me. That's how it goes. Medics, so we can get you back to your room and get you upstairs. End of discussion. Okay. We'll look for your phone. Like just come answer. They have, they have a couple questions for you, right. so they can leave, please. Go talk. Go talk to the paramedics. Why are you gonna take me to jail? Because I don't know where Disorderly I'm going. conduct. See, she hasn't even gotten past anything. She just immediately went right back to why are you gonna take me to jail? So let's continue forward a little bit here, as it gets worse. So this is when she gets arrested. As you can see down there in the square. Step away. I'm in jail. Step away. Step, Step away. away. Until we figure this out. I'm in jail with this. Jesus Christ. I'm taking her to jail at this point. For wow, what? This is ridiculous. Like Cuff showed me the other attempt that he has. No, no. The reason he gets like that is because leading up to this very point, every time he tries to tell her, go talk to the paramedics, she does that same thing you saw earlier. Where she's like, oh no, I'm going to go get my phone. Oh no, I'm going to go get my phone. Oh no, I'm going to go get my phone. No, I'm going to go get my phone. And so that's what leads up to him eventually being like, oh my gosh, if this girl doesn't get out of my face. If you remember that one police video I made earlier, it's kind of the same concept where that girl got arrested for because uh, she wanted to be a bad B. I'm just saying. Like, they're just like, man, get back. I'll show you a little bit of the scenes before that. Right now, you're going to go to jail if you don't stop. Understand? I'm not going to deal with I'm going to deal with my son real quick. No, you're not. I am. Hey, you have a chair. Yeah, I can All right. Here, let me go with this with Step away. I'm gonna deal Step with this. Step away. Step away. Until we figure this out. I'm gonna deal take... with this. Jesus Christ. I'm taking her to jail at this point. <laughs> For what? It's like she is so lost. It's like the way her face trips me up because you just always. What? See, every time she hears the word jail, she's just. Huh? Step away. Until we figure this out. I'm going to deal take... with this. Jesus Christ. I'm taking her to jail at this point. She just oh, this is completely ridiculous. lost. But once again, what do I tell you about these individuals? When they get into the, when they get in these handcuffs, that's when things really go south. Here we go. Right now. Do you want to answer any questions for them? Do you want to deal with us? No, I want you to let me go. Well, no, you're not. Okay. All right. Yeah. You're, that was no, so refusal. Yep. All right. She was literally like dress hiked up, like probably trying to get a new spatula. Right. So. See, please. Can you please let me have my phone? Nope. Girl, if you don't stop with this dang phone, you're going to jail. You still worried about this phone? 
And you already know what's about to happen from here. Whenever people like this get in the back of a car, uh -huh. it goes crazy. Shit, what is going on? Why? Oh. What is, why did you do that? Make sure you're all right. Move your feet. <laughs> okay, what's, what's your face? Why did you do that? I really don't see the drive. That's the first time I've seen her on the property. Right. Yeah, I don't see a, a key card in here. So as you can see, it, it seems like this one, this woman randomly walked into the employee's area, not even staying at this area at all. It looked like she really literally wandered off the streets, maybe from having a drunken night at the club or something like that, and then wandered into this employee's area which is very dangerous. Shouldn't be in an area you shouldn't be in at all. And so this is, and the other thing that's dangerous about this is she has no idea where she's at. She thinks she has a key card. She thinks she has a room number. They can't find anything that says that she's supposed to be here. So she is literally roaming around drunk and has no idea what's going on, which makes me think there may be some other influence as well. Um, but that's pretty scary to think that she was wandering around. Anybody could have taken her or anything because she has no idea where she's even at. Mm. Fuck you, fucking asshole! I just want. No, 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 no. Why did he arrest no. me so easily? This early in talks. If no. you kick, the, listen. If you kick the window again, you're gonna be tased. I just want to know no, no, why did back. he? I just want to know why he arrested me so easily. He just asked me that. Because why? the way you're acting. But why did he Sit arrest back. me so easily? Cause man, look at you. You're beating on the window. Okay. And you're, you're, <laughs> cops can see this coming from a mile away. How people are going to act when they start getting drunk, especially when they're not listening to commands. Let's move forward a little bit here. Still in the car, still living a hard life. Georgia. And you got me in the back of a cop car for fucking disorderly conduct and my best friend. <laughs> It's got me, and you got me arrested for disorderly conduct, and we both are here right now. I want to now. explain this right quickly, just, just so it makes sense. When somebody starts crying, I've told you guys what ends up happening with people when they escalate, right? So there's a, always a, if you've ever seen the graph, people, will, I tell you, their IQ goes down the angrier they get. So she goes from being really angry, kicking the windows and stuff like that. And then it's always when they de-escalate that a lot of people cry. This happens a lot with kids. You'll see kids get really mad, really upset. If you watch my kid video, you see the same thing. The kid goes really high. And then when they come down, it almost always ends in crying. Almost always. Crying is actually a good sign that a person's coming down. That they're coming down and they're starting to get to more of a calm state. Now, oh. a person can always go back up. Don't get it wrong. But, you know, that's how it goes. Get these off my fucking hands! Get these off my fucking hands! Get these off my hands! Why did you do this? Fuck no! Fuck no! See? Fuck no! Stop it! She came Fuck down. You. Stop! Started to calm down. Stop me! No. She she raised her arm up and back up, but she's been jerking, so things are a little. Do you in the back of yours? Now, I know this part is kind of confusing, right? Because it looked dark earlier, right? So it looks like as time was going on, as you see when she falls, falls out the car. Are you all right? Move your feet. <laughs> you can tell that this means this is happening early in the morning. So this is all leading to sun up. So she's, she's probably been wandering around for a while. I don't. Do you in the back of yours? I don't want to do this. You're just drunk. Stop. <laughs> the way you're acting is, is unacceptable. Why like Listen, this? if you damage the window, you're going to be charged with a felony. Why am I being treated like this? Though? Because you're drunk. Enough. Why am I being fucking treated like this? Why? <laughs> uh, oh, boy. There's nothing like somebody screaming right in your face, man. There's nothing like it. Enough. Actually, unintelligible. Why am I being fucking treated like this? 
<laughs> Why you like this? She sounds like a goose. I'm not gonna lie to you. If you've ever heard goose or geese, it's a felony. Why am I being treated like this? Though? Because you're drunk. Enough. Why am I being fucking treated like this? That. Why am I being treated like this? It's not fair. Because we're gonna we're gonna put handcuffs now on your feet. Don't be fucking fair, because I'm a bitch. Are you going to sit here fine? Take these off of me. No. Like that. Don't you feel like this? No, don't do that to me. Stop, Stop. it. Take these off my hands. I don't like it. Stop. No, like that. You're not going to damage my cruisers. You understand? No. That's like enough. This. Yeah, this I know you don't like this. Nobody likes going to jail. Fuck, why am I going to jail? I haven't done nothing wrong. Oh, Stop. It's enough. Nope. It's enough. Like you can't yeah. drive. You can't walk nowhere. You cannot be on the streets acting like this. That's why we got to take you to the jail. All right, let's get here. I'm going to jail for I don't need... Huh? <laughs> That's what I'm going to jail for. That's what I was arrested for. That's what I was originally arrested for. My feelings are so hurt that that's what I was arrested for. I know that this video, y'all know who it is, body cam watch. Y'all can always go check them out. Go check out that next video, uh, police. Y'all know how it goes. Maybe we might watch that video. Maybe not. I want to say this. <laughs> it's so easy to feel bad for these people because you see her crying. She's sad. Um, but at the same time, and I noticed that the, if you notice the video was called when you were told no, as a kid, I don't really look at the video that way. Um, I don't see this uh, being a person who's just being defiant because they were never told no as a kid. I get it. You know, YouTube, you got to sensationalize the titles, but I will say this, what I think is going on here. This woman is obviously drunk, obviously. I don't think that she's not used to being told no, but what happens when you drink, it lowers your inhibition. Did y'all like that uh, quick cut? That wasn't me. That was the camera. When you get, when you're so, when your inhibition is so lowered, to me, it seemed like she wasn't even cognitively there. So anytime they told her, I'll get the phone, her mind is just not able to comprehend what's going on. For some reason, she's not seeing this as cops trying to help her. She is seeing this. It seems like my video slowing down a little bit. Let me. She is seeing this as the cops are trying to um, stop her from getting her phone. She cannot get off of this concept of, oh, you know what? I'm, I need to get to my phone. You guys are stopping me from getting my phone. Once I get to my phone, who knows what's going to happen when she gets to her phone, but her mind cannot get off of that. So when she finally gets arrested, everybody hates being in the back of a cop car. She starts to lose her mind. She's like, can you please let me go? She starts crying, which means she's starting to calm down. She goes up for a little bit, but she comes back down. She's just in a completely broken state. Something probably led to her getting drunk. Something led to her wanting to let go for a night. And you can see her body is just, her body and her mind are just stuck. She cannot get out of the concept of trying to get to her phone. She can't get out of the concept that she's going to jail. She can't get out of the concept that she even talks about how she was being treated. Um, she said, I don't understand why you're treating me this way. And that's what led to her screaming. And so... To me, um, I'm sorry my video is going to be a little bit behind, but I apologize for that. But just listen to my voice. I think that what is going on is that, like I said, I think she was broken before she started drinking. She was trying to solve some problems, and it didn't get solved. But y'all let me know what y'all think about this, man. Um, it's sad to see, but at the same time, we got to protect people. She should not be wandering around in employee areas drunk. She should not be around people drunk. She's obviously upset. She's mad. There's no telling what she could do. You never know what a person can do, especially when they've been drinking. So, y'all let me know what y'all think about this video. I'm out of here. Goodbye.